We are back. The Breakdown Boys, Wade Sensei. Us. Fast intro there. Um, Sensei, we just came off the live stream watch party for Misfits. Seto, we Seto. Sure Nueve. Damn, that took a while. Come on, son. Come on, second Dancing. language. Bobby Dio. Um, <laughs> what'd you think, man? Misfits number nine. Dude, I loved it. Uh, especially because I'm biased in temper one. Hey, That's come on, Tommy. Huh? So right there, that, huh? that puts it on the top of the list. One of the uh, up there for me, son. Why don't we talk guys. about? I mean, you're already you're already jacked up about it. Let's talk about it, man. What'd you see in that fight? Dude. He came out immediately, started swinging, yep. but it was uh, controlled. But we wanted to see the the malice. Yeah, some purpose malintent, the boy. Look here, he saw it immediately. Here's that malice, son. Yep. Talk to him. Here he is, hunting, hunting. Beautiful body shot. Beautiful combo. Look at that again. Beautiful combination. See how he started with the right entry? He wasn't lunging. He started with the left straight to the body, which he landed beautifully. Wow. And Boom. nasty left hand, Heavy. Too. Heavy shots. Boom. Boom. Where did that technique. left hand come from? That's what I'm bro? saying, bro. It's beautiful. Boom. That combination right there was the best combination he's ever thrown. Ever. Ever. That was big time stuff. That was he like, knows he has him. So yeah, he's like, let me bro. work to the body first. Right hand to set up the left. Now we're getting to those levels. Again, yes. he talked about he had a full camp. Yep. I feel like he's able to showcase himself. Yep. Uh, you know, last couple of fights was on a short notice, right? And yep. he had yep. the, the two really tough losses for him for him to bounce back. Uh this is amazing to see. Temper's amazing. back. Temper is back. He beats Ginty. We're gonna go through the majority of the fights. Um, maybe not every single oh. one. Raksu look awesome. He did. He did. Um, let's hear. Let's hear before he gets Raxu. Let's hear what your boy Tommy said about yeah. the, the win here. And you know, yeah, he was talking a lot of smack, but when it comes down to it, it's all about how you how you move in the ring. It's all about how you fight. And uh, I know I've been more more than ready, more than prepared with Malik. I've been killing myself in the gym, day in and day out. Rax. And so this one's uh, this one's for me. This one's for my son, Cairo. Ah, and, there uh, it is. Just Rax. glad there he's back, is. man. There and, it is. Know, That's yeah, what you want to hear, a lot bro. There too. Gonna be it. He's gonna be a dad. Come on, man. Dad That's dad. crazy. Had the sun on the trunks. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. Here's a different uh, angle. The shot. Boom. Covered up. Boom. There's one of the drops Dude, again. See how he hit, he dealt with the adversity. We know. Gets, go up. He came in hands down. Landed a good cut. Landed a beautiful left hand there again. Again. Gets dude. caught with something Ooh. though. Chin a little high. Yeah. So it gets it's like a push jab because uh -huh. his chin's up right. He's not ducking underneath it. Covers up, Ooh. frames out, finds it. Bang. He was accurate as hell in this fight, man. Accurate as hell. Good shot there from Tommy. Um, okay, so so obviously we're kind of starting in the middle. We'll, we'll kind of bounce around here, yeah. but we talked about this on stream. What what do you do with Tommy next? What do you do with him? We talked talk JMX. I think that's... You Seems talk the most that's logical, a, right? That's the most logical, but there is uh, Raksu. It's tough, but... Let me throw another name another at you. Name. And this one, this one would break the hearts of us here at the breakdown, but it might make a lot of sense. I don't even want to say it because I don't even know how we're gonna get through this. Tommy versus Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell. But what are they? It's the weight, dude. He fought JMX at one nine five. What did Tommy just fight at? I think one eighty three or three or eighty four. That's what I'm saying. That's a but Tommy, like, is Tommy not even bigger than that? Maybe he's not. I don't not know. Not naturally. Okay. Yeah, like, it'd be tough for Le'Veon good, to get 85. Is, but 80, 85 is where Le'Veon wants to be. The, okay, but, but what I'm saying is, like, this is a good weight for Tommy if he's not, like, super, like, he's not dried out completely. Right, right. But, like... But if Le'Veon Le Le makes the weight, uh, if he makes the weight, yeah, he makes the weight. If he makes the weight, he's going to be a monster. Like, naturally yeah, bigger guy. Naturally. naturally 215 bigger, naturally. Guy. That's what I'm saying. But JMX like, is big too, though. You know what I mean? Like he's a big boy. Yeah, that's true. It's just but the frame it's the loss more similar. that JMX took to Le'Veon that makes it, in my opinion, make more sense for JMX because Tommy, yeah. you know, what I'm saying beat Ginty. J JMX beat Ginty. Tommy had a loss, yeah. bounce back. JMX, if he still want to do this, I don't know if he is, bounce yeah. back. You know what I'm saying? That would be a fun yeah. fight. But you do have the other fights there. It's just like you could say, okay, Kenny rematch. Okay, I'm down with it. Yep, you know what I'm saying? Yep, Let's do it. Yep. I'll run it. But Kenny's got he's busy right now. We found out today yeah. that 
Slim and Salt Poppy are going to be busy in a banger of a fight. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. There's so, always the rematch with Slim as well. Yeah, but Slim's now down at 168. Tommy's not getting there. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's 6'8", right? Yeah, he's not getting there. Yeah, I know. But that's 70, to, 70 to 80, around that range, dude, there's there's yeah. some there's some matchups to be had for Tommy, yeah, I think. Yeah, for sure, I for think. sure. But big win for Temper. Um, let's talk about another important fight on the card, at least to me, was like you just said, Ashley Raksu. I thought there was an interesting take on his performance, but tell me what you thought. I mean, you would probably like to see him get the finish. Especially uh, the way he fight. started. Right. Um, but he almost like took the... Uh, he 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 talked about how he thought the fight should have been stopped. And you see him literally telling the ref to stop the fight. Yeah. To get like a standing count. Yeah. So there was there was clearly a feeling of like, okay, he's throwing shots. He's letting Halal th- throw. He's, he's like taking shots he shouldn't have unnecessarily mm-hmm. and landing. Almost similar to what Kenny did with to Winderson. There was it yeah. was it was like remnants of that where I was like, go for the kill, but then he was just kind of schooling him. Yeah. I mean, Ashley you did know? say, I'm coming in reckless abandon, I'm gonna try to finish you in the first round. I think once that didn't yeah. happen, I think that was the point where it was like, uh, all right, you know, let's figure it out. But Leon had an interesting take. He said, I'm blaming this walkout for the mid performance. And hey, I think maybe, this, I think maybe he expects more out of Raksu. That's exactly what I was going to say. I think a lot of people took that as disrespect. I see it as being like he thinks Ashley Raksu might be one of the better ones to come out of this thing. Right. Because I, I did. I, I, I also today, I saw a shorts, I think, of uh, the, the Real and Wills boys. And they were like, don't let this man in. Don't let him in. Right. He's going right, to spoil right, the party. Right, right, don't right. let him in. So yeah. they, they, they think highly of him. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes I think sense. that's the sentiment here. Is like there was maybe a little left to be desired, but it's because we do now think very highly of of Ashley Raksu for good or bad reason. Like he's also super inexperienced, so maybe that's not the most fair criticism. You know what I mean? Maybe he is yeah, at that level he's, right he, now. He's ex- inexperienced, and he hasn't had a dominating win. Exactly. The one with Kenny was like this very fight that's fought at the distance, right? He lost to to At. So now he was able to kind of showcase his skills in this one. Yeah. Which he's not a guy that has a bunch of boxing experience or fo- other combat experience right. and is coming in here and beating guys up. So he doesn't really have that yet. He's mm-hmm. new to him. But right now, like he's starting to get some confidence and starting to realize, hey, maybe, you know, I you know, I can do this. For sure. And I think he can. And that's where it becomes scary. He um called out Anthony Taylor. For the rematch. What's that rematch? See, what about Raksu and Le'Veon Bell? That's a fucking good fight. That is a great fight, dude. Make it for the yeah. belt. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Make it for the belt. Well, I which again, I don't know. Does Tommy and KSI fit into that, or how's that work? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't does know. the winner of that get the Misfits belt, or is that like its own separate entity type of deal? You know what I'm saying? I honestly don't feel like it should. If KSI is not going to fight influencers, and we're just going to bring, you know, what I'm saying people in for him to fight, I feel like the belt shouldn't be on that. Yeah, that makes sense. But then, on the same token, the belt doesn't mean a lot if it's not on the guy that beat. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, this is why the belts don't mean shit. We don't need them. Fuck yeah, the belts. All right. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. I get it. They're like a tool to put the fights you want to see together, but you can still do that. Yeah. You just got to open that checkbook, which, hey, it looked like Misfits did because guess what we got? Sun, Salt, Poppy, and Slim. And this is kind of a little deviation. We'll get back to the card in a second, but damn. No, yes. That happened. It happened. That's we're going to we're gonna make a, a separate video on this just in more in depth, but all I'm going to say is not any words. Three things that I do with cheeks on the reg. It just don't sound cool when I do stuff, bro. <laughs> he said, <sighs> <laughs> I don't be doing that on a reg. I'm a lonely individual. <laughs> but um, we definitely got a banger here. This thing's going to be. definitely do. This thing's going to be a fun fight. Like, this is probably. Yes. I said this on the stream. This. This. Out of the, I mean, there's so many big fights on this. We looked at it today. Ten massive fights on the prime card. It feels like every fight after fight is just, oh my god, how is this not a main event? You know what I'm saying? 
Reminds me of US, was it UFC 205 or 200? Which one was 205 it? 205 had Connor in the garden. So that was Connor. That was and your Anderson and, in DC. No, no, no. You're, that's 200. That was Anderson, DC, Brock, yeah. Mark Hunt. Uh, I'm sure there's another massive fight. I think one of the girls' fights was on there. I remember that being a yeah, it was a stacked major card. card. Stacked card. Yeah. Like UFC 217, three title fights in one card type shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is how it feels, man. This is how it feels, but I do think that one has a chance to outshine most of them. Like the winner of that one. To me, it's because of Salt Poppy. Because he is... Star, man. He's a star. He has the... Now it's different because of the weight transformation. Yeah, dude. He's a guy... like he's taking it we, seriously, we have, Sensei. He's a star, and he's taking seen, it seriously. We haven't seen this yet. You want to know what it is? A- everybody I'm, has made the transformation before they fought. No, no, no. You want to know he what the arc is? fools and now has leveled up. Dude. You know what the arc is? And this is going to sound disrespectful, and I don't mean it to be at all because we love this guy. He's doing what people wanted Deji to do. Yeah. Starch and fools, taking the sport seriously from Rip, and now cutting the weight and working hard and keeping it off. But that's what I'm saying. No one has done it because no one has came out the gate starch and fools. Like, getting him immediately to the top, and then, oh, this isn't my final form, son. Yep. Right, like, JJ had some uh, transformation. Even Jake, even Jake had a bit of a transformation. But they were still, like, when JJ got in shape for Joe Weller, big transformation. Like, Salt Poppy didn't have, like, a, a major... It was a bit, but not, like, a major transformation when he started Gradually fighting. over time. Gradually. And now this is a big one where you feel like, this what, is what, what meant, I don't know. I don't for. know where we're gonna get. To me, I'm like, I feel like we're gonna get a completely different. Um, this is what. This is the thing. That's the culmination. It's like we're yeah. seeing him progress in the boxing, and we're seeing him take the weight seriously. It's all build and building. Now it comes together. Now here's the final product type deal. You know what I'm saying? It's Dangerous. the payoff. Yeah. And let's not forget the guy on the other side of it, man. The hitman. I'm the shit man. Yeah. They got him back. And speaking of getting things back, he brought back his hairline. Did you see this, Sensei? My message is Saul Poppy. Hey, yo, Saul Poppy. I respect that you lost all this. Yo, he trying to get rid. Look at that. He think, bro, Slim is out here trying to riz now. That thing is even Steven. I'm dead. We ain't taking it back on the sides? Keeping the front business? No, dude. This is even. Squaring up like he, that the hairline's about to fight for him. That's how square that thing is. It's squared up. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> what did Keem say? I'm sorry, Slim. You know we love you, dog. What did Keem say? It better not listen. Keem, don't be disrespectful, dude. I know he's not happy punch, but, and I know he's fighting your, your your golden boy, but don't be disrespectful here. Slim, Salt Poppy versus Slim fight preparation. Slim, Salt Poppy lost weight. Slim grew hair. That is crazy. Though. Look at that difference, bro. That's insane. And then Slim, oh, oh, whoa. I don't think I've ever seen that picture before. But I'm telling you, dude, they do they do miracles out here in Turkey, bro. They, they do, do miracles. <laughs> they do miracles because this thing right here looks like Frankenstein himself or Frankenstein's creator, dog. This looks like he did one of those electric, you know what I'm saying? You, you touch the ball in the fucking... I'm done. Damn, Slim. <laughs> that. That's, that's Keem, dude. I didn't say all that. That's crazy. But... That's a banger, though. You know what I mean? Like that That's yeah. one that people need to see. Slim's undefeated. People forget that. Again, he's beating a bunch of guys that people didn't want to fight when he fought them. Facts. Walked through Tommy. You know what I mean? On two weeks' notice. On two weeks, dude. That was wild. Look at this face-off real quick. Let's just let's just entertain this, and then we'll move back on to the, the, what we're here for. Can't get copyrighted. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'll probably like he was trying to riz him for a second. <laughs> I know you're doing that. I just can't be doing that, bro. <laughs> it's not the time. It's in the TikTok video. Mm, what are we doing? Speaking about squared off. Come on, son. That barber. Clean. Dang, just forehead to forehead. Uh, uh. Oh, oh. And woo, hand traps. Wrist control hand traps. Watch yourself. Hey, already. That's one zero already. You know what I'm saying? Slim trying to come with the big boy. You know what I'm saying? The reach. So Bobby said, "Give me that." Give me that. He, he. Nope. Dude, I want to see how fast Saul Poppy is now. I have a feeling he's going to be like lightning, bro, because he was Shut already up. had fast hands at yes, his size. Bro. Yes, and he's compact, and when he lets it go, dude, it's full committal. You know what I'm saying? Setups are there. He's going to have some zip. 
Yes, dude. Them punches. Yes. And zip it up when you're done. Now, we need to... <laughs> we need to... I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> nah, bro. We need to get back to Misfits number nine. Because this card was... Like I said, I said this on Twitter. It was a good card. Like... Obviously, it you wasn't going to be... You, uh, uh, you would know better because I didn't see a mo- majority of the fights. Yeah, yeah, it was a good card, man. Like, of yeah. course, in retrospect, when you have a bunch of knockouts, it's going to be like, whoa, what a card. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There were some mismatches. Again, in retrospect, the arms Corleone and Ugwe thing was not... Shouldn't but probably... It's a fill-in have, fighter. It's a you fill-in deal. Um, obviously, Gabe Silva. Let's talk about that fight. Gabe and, and oh, our guy, God. Ben, man. Um, ben the Bane Davis. Here's the thing. Here's what I'll say. Ben is the ultimate winner tonight. Out of this card, you can't tell me that one person's stock went higher than Ben the Bane Davis. You want to know why? Why? One, every viral tweet I've seen right now from MMA Twitter has been Ben getting knocked out. Or Ariel Hawani praising him. Me praising him. Uh, not that we're on the same level. I know how people in the comments are going to say that. <laughs> uh, Chael Sonnen. Praising him, oh, uh, wow. yeah, okay, bro. Yeah, we we the big hitters are here for Ben, and not only wow. that, Sensei. He got his toe in the water on commentary. They put him on commentary for a fight. That's true, and That's he true. smashed yeah. it, dude. Yeah, yeah. after being yeah. knocked out, not knocked That's out, right. but I, stopped. Yeah, I see what you're saying. This the, the this is why he did this. This is why opportunities he, that it opened. This is why he did this. He fought to get to that point. The fight, fuck the fight. We knew Gay was going to win that fight. Yeah. He fought so he could do that. There's no bigger winner tonight than Ben the Bane Davis. And he did really well on commentary. He felt like he he was at home. He felt like he belonged in that spot. He never fights again. It doesn't matter because he just won. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and on a lighter, like on a a lesser note, you do have Gabe Silva here. Yeah. Lock him down. What do you do with that guy, though? Strap season. Put him in the pro tournament is what you do. Yes. That's what you do. And that's feeding him What's, to the wolves what, what, a little what, what bit. Was, what was what was the weight class? Idris fought today at 174. No, but the weight class for Gabe and Ben. He was 167. It's not that it's far. Salt Poppy. Salt Poppy. You do Salt Poppy. Got some guys in there. Get that range, brother. Range. I know, but still. How what's Khalil weigh? I don't know. He's light. He's, he's lighter light. than Gabe, you think? Yeah, he's smaller than Gabe for sure. Khalil is? Okay, I was gonna say Khalil in the pro tournament. Hey now. I'm saying. But that pro tournament is probably gonna be around that one seventy to one seventy five range. Yeah. yeah. So maybe not maybe not pro tournament. But yeah, you can there's there's things, right? This is why there's you have people. the Anthony Taylor's. This is why you have the, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. These type of That's guys. A, even the, even mm-hmm. the, nah, he's not going to make the weight, but Le'Veon Bell, like whoever. You just don't want to bring right. him in and let him pub stomp everyone. That's not, you don't want to do that. No, no, it doesn't make sense. So you need a range finder for his next fight. Like if you put him in there with Salt Poppy and he starches Poppy, you're going to go, oh shit. Okay, well, we need to find something for him <laughs> to do, you know? Like, oops. Whoopsie daisy. Off you yeah. go, you know? Or what, I don't know, whatever you're going to do with him, but. You gotta have a range finder for him next, and maybe that's Anthony Taylor. He's always down to fight. The, no matter what happens, if he beats Kenny and holds that belt, and you put him in there with Gabe, cool, done. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Makes sense. I like that. So he he was a he was a winner, obviously. Uh, very short fight. He put Ben down in the first, but I couldn't stand people talking that stuff on Twitter. Yes, Ben talked trash. Of course he did because that's what he's good at. Dude, I was so hyped. I, I checked Twitter. And it's like Ben got robbed. I'm like, oh, dude, he made he went the distance. <laughs> Let's go. I get back I, on my phone. I go, oh. So yeah, what happened bro. to Ben? Remember I asked you? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, look, he got dropped. I was like, damn, I got duped. All right, well, let's talk about Armscore Leon because he's a big winner here too, kind of. You know? Yes. Another mm-hmm. London shoot fighters fighter. Um, Just walked, m- literally moonwalked through Uguay. Um, Like I said, I don't think, it, like even Mams Taylor after the fact was like, I felt bad about that one. But look at the relaxation. The lo- it's different. It's different. He's a lot different Before, than the minicon fight. That, it was that. A lot different. Push. 
And to be fair, Minicon's a bigger guy. He was at an athlete. You know what I'm saying? He was there for it. And, and Uwe yep, was yeah, too, course. but there was just a massive difference in power and skill He's here. He's clearly been training. Yeah. Preparing for this. Boom, boom. Boom. Just walked into that mug. Did you see him literally like walk into it like an outfielder would walk into a throw to third? Watch this. so much. Watch them. Just walk right into it. Dump, dump. Boom. My oh, lord, son. Buddy. Fair play yeah. to Uwe for eating that and staying conscious. Um, okay, so what do you do with arms, though? We talked about this Rather in our last video. Yes, yes, yes. He won't do it, though, and you know that. Yeah, I know. He will not do it. You imagine, though, if they did it and him and Bradley have a what? pose off before? That's what oh, you do with gosh. it. You have him well, do what a do freaking they weigh? What do they weigh? What do they weigh? Well, Bradley's 260. I think uh, no, no, no. Arms, arms. arms came in at like 240. Oh, I was like, um, heavyweight Le'Veon though, Bell. bro. It's heavyweight. I was like, Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> it's a tough. I mean, it's a tough, tough ask for Le'Veon. Actually, maybe it wouldn't be. Not a heavyweight. Nope. Maybe it wouldn't be because it'd be. You know, we didn't really get to see Arms gas tank, which was his big. You know, uh, detractor last time he fought. I think that'd be a good matchup, heavyweight matchup, man. Le'Veon Bell and Arms. Just I don't think. I don't think. Le- I don't think Le'Veon's gonna be fighting a heavyweight dog. He fought at one ninety five the last time he fought. Yeah, but he can get back up there. Running back, wait. No, I know he can. I just don't know if he wants to be there. I don't know if he's optimal there. Yeah. But okay, Le'Veon's an option. I wish Jake the Viking was still fighting. Oh, yeah, because who else, though? Who else, honestly? Minicon's apparently not on the promotion anymore. I'm not sure why. Tempo Arts, Chase, Demore. That's a fun one. Winner of that one, him him and Chase or him and Tempo. Yeah, him and Chase would be fun. That would be wild. You got to get through our boy Tempo, though. You know what I'm saying? Tempo? Facts. Tempo's, Tempo's game. nice. You know that. He's nice. So there's some options there. There's some options. We like that. All right, so let's go to OJ Rose. You tell me. I liked the fight. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see the Started action. out rough. Callum came out swinging, son. Whoa. Landon. Not just swinging, but Landon. Even though OJ doesn't look like he's been touched, he was getting, he was getting bombed on. You know what I'm saying? But... He's got a chin. He said, I want Luis Pineda? No way. We got a few names, man. Number one, Vamos, Pineda, where you at? We got Adam Brooks in the building here. You know, a few names that we can't mention right now because not in the scene yet, but I got you. A few names that are not in the scene, so I can't mention them. Adam Brooks, I think, is a UK influencer of some sort. I'm not sure. Pineda's an interesting call. Well, if he's calling Pineda, then he's probably around 165. Yeah, it's weird. It's an odd one, right? I get it, though, because it's the name. It's the name, you know what I'm saying? You beat Pineda, he's the golden boy, freaking, you know, the Undertaker music, the freaking switch to the mariachi. Last last person he beat, was it it B-Dave? Yep. And then the tag team. Right, tag team. But it doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter. No one gives a shit who Pineda beat. You beat Pineda, you get the rub, you know what I'm saying? At that level, it doesn't really matter. That's a pro wrestling term. That's not what I meant. (laughs) But that's how it goes. You beat a big name, you get all the shine. So you beat Pineda, and then you can start calling out the guys like the, I don't know, the Deggies, the Bryces, the whoever's, you know. But but yeah. what OJ yeah. has to do, he has to do this. He's such a good, like he had a great fight. He he weathered a storm early, came back, was throwing big body shots, then worked upstairs, got the finish, I think. He got the, yeah, he got the finish. You're saying they fought a 168 or something? 165. Is that small? Yeah, he's a smaller guy, bro. Hmm. Oh, Callum didn't seem that small. Callum did seem small, but he seemed bigger than OJ. Mm, I see, okay. But what you do with him is you oh. got to get him on the content, bro. You have to. These are the yeah. most important times to get on that content because if he goes and beats Pineda, let's say they gave him Pineda and he goes and beats Pineda, if there's no content around it, none of you're not, the big names aren't biting. Bryce is not yeah, biting. Then what? Then what? Exactly. Anthony Taylor, literally. They will throw Anthony Taylor at any of these guys, dog. <laughs> they will throw him at any of these guys. Matter of fact, when I said Gabe versus Anthony Taylor, someone made that a troll in my, in my chat. They were like, oh, Gabe, great talent. Here's Anthony Taylor. They are going yeah. to do that. I'm just, now yeah. I'm thinking about it. They're going to do that. So he is the, he is the actual gatekeeper, man. Um, We'll talk about this in a separate video, but we also have Swarms and Ryan Taylor 2 announced. Like that fight? I like it a lot. Ryan did get it. We confirm get the fight. that he broke his orbital bone the first fight. 
had to spend four months uh, not getting touched on the face. He confirmed that Swarm has broke his face. Facts. That's what happened. Them's the facts. Okay, so let's talk about our, crazy. our main event. I'm sure we're missing a fight or two here. Oh, yeah, Small Spartan J shocked us. Couldn't see it. It shocked me, the result. but Shocked us. Uh, just... Pressure. Pulley looked like he did not want to pulley the trigger bars on any kind of punch. Uh, pulley was just pulling, as you know. Facts. Selling. Pulling away. You went pulling like we pull packs on Madden, though, you know what I mean? Facts. Talk <laughs> to me nicely. You went pulling that. You went pulling that. But, uh, yeah, listen. Small Smart and Jay pulled out a win. I'm not sure what they do with him. He's around that 125, I think. So, that's a yeah. murderer's row. Good luck. You know, they got Adam Sala probably coming in. Maybe Fox. Fox the G. He just turned there 18. He wants a fight. Fred? I don't think Fred's going to fight. I would like to see Fred fight, but I don't think he's... If, if Fred was going to fight, then you do Fox and Fred, of course. Yeah. But Fred I don't think Fox. he's going to. Fred and Fox, sorry. I didn't know Fred. Fred's A-side, you right. Fox, no disrespect, but Fred, you know how it is, bro. Uh, yeah, bro Fox. But I don't know. Somebody. But I don't think you give him to freaking Dean or... Wally, you know, the winner of that one. I don't think you do that. No, no. Or even, like, you may give him a pat, but you don't get him Yuddy Gang or something like that, bro. Okay. Not Yuddy. Let's talk about our main event, and we'll get out of here, man. Um, Idris Virgo and Aaron Chalmers. Bro, we had some parody in this we fight. We did. And we, this was a very good main event because it was not about one-sided. It, we talked about this. We said Aaron Chalmers is not going to just lay down for this guy. And he's certainly not a bum. Nope. All heart. And I I want to say this, dude. Had it just hurt, dude. I don't know if Aaron is even public about this. And if I'm speaking out of <laughs> turn here, then I, I 100% apologize. But I know that he he has a child that has some, uh, it, some <laughs> medical issues. Aaron does? Aaron does. I'm not okay. sure exactly what it is, and I'm I, he's spoken about it publicly before. But but I, what I say is this: no matter how many <laughs> digs or goofy jokes or whatever it is that we make over here, which is all in lighthearted fun, I remember sitting at Kingpin and talking to him about this, and and I remembered it when someone brought it up to me today. I'd completely forgot about it. This is why he fights. This is why he continues to fight. I'm pretty sure that this is the only reason he continues to fight is to make sure wow. he can pay for the medical stuff and really get the best treatment in the world for his child. Wow. Which is super heavy, and I know I'm only bringing that up to say, yeah, you want to talk about all heart, that's what that dude really is in there. <coughs> I was going to say, it makes sense. It, it, it shows the way he, he fights. fights. Exactly. The way he fought uh, today was exactly that. So, shouts to Aaron, he's not man. There. He's not there for the clout. Nope. No, nope, not at all. I'm showing up. We doing this for the fam. We getting out. When's the next one? You know what I'm saying? We we got we got things to do. We got bills to pay. We got dog stuff. You know what I mean? Real real stuff. Not hey, how much clout yeah. can I get today? That's right, real right, stuff. Right. Welcome welcome to the real fight world, dude. Stories like that you just don't see every day. So it shouts to Aaron, but also shouts to Idris, man, because a man with nothing to lose is is one of the hardest dudes to beat. And Idris had to weather a storm in that first round. Got it done. Bro, he was wobbling. He was hurt. Right hand from from uh, Aaron Chalmers landed a couple different times. There was two times where I thought, this is going to be over. Yeah. Aaron's going to win this. Yeah. And when we say that, it's a bit shocking. Yeah. Because of the predecessing reputation of Idris Virgo. Only ever lost a, what a ra- one round. Yeah, he lost the first round, and it was like, this is like rare for him to Just, lose a he round. He never doesn't lose a round, exactly. Um, does that soil his name a little bit here, that it took him as long as it did to get this done? Or did he just run no. into a real guy? I think he just ran into a real guy, and because of the the performance that happened after he got hurt, the fact that he had the adversity, he responded, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then he still gets the, the finish, and... He looked strong in there, like multiple knockdowns, thudding, hurting Aaron. Boom, boom. Right. So, and then he f- gets the the finish based off his own nickname. Yeah, bro. You know, when you do that, the, it's the like back it's, shot. It's picture perfect. Yeah. Throwing those back shots. Pretty sure it's illegal, but that, I don't know why they call him Mister Backshot like that. But it's an interesting name. What's wrong? What happened? Control Alt Delete. 
Oh, it's body. Okay, sorry. I, I'm reading it now. Body body breaker. My bad. I was a little confused there. But yes, Idris wins. <laughs> wins the main event. What do you do with him now, though? Because is this pro tournament preview essentially? Is, is that it's what? Got to be. Yeah, pro tournament. Because he called out Floyd Mayweather, called Floyd Mayweather a bitch. Um, okay, and then said Carl Frotch, come get you some. I like that. Cool, but I think pro tournament is probably where we're landing here. Him versus Mike Perry round one. Let's go. Oh, see, you could do that though. Come on, you son. can put him in there with like a an MMA fighter that wants to. Him and Mike Perry round him. round number one, son. Y Uriah Hall. Yeah, bring him back. Yes, yes, all that. Yep, I like it. I like all of Woodley. That. Woodley, him and MVP in the finals. What's up, Woodley? Yes. You see, I have a feeling. We're going to break down that pro tournament and actually I do matchups at some point. But that's it, man. That's Misfits number nine. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Astrid Wet, Alexia Grace got announced for for Prime Car. We're going to talk about all that stuff coming up, but we just wanted to get this one done. Our recap, Sensei, if you had to give it a letter grade, what are you saying? Uh, man, you, you're asking me as I'm watching Tommy land the KO here. You can't. Don't, don't get recency bias. Think back on all the Misfits cards you're comparing it to. Oh, man. But it's, to me, it's tough. Okay. That's my brother right there. I know. <sighs> A plus being the highest. Obviously, F being the lowest. Mm, we're talking like C plus, B minus. I was going to say C. I was going to say C. C plus. You know, but C, B minus C. is because of Tommy's. I got okay. You know, I was gonna say C me, because it's me. it's it was a card that overperformed in my opinion. As Correct. it was it laid better, out, it did better than I thought. It as would. it was laid up, there there were maybe two fights I was really excited for, right? Yeah, yeah. But it overdelivered and and made people made me more excited about people the next time they fight, which is a, yeah. I give it a C, maybe C plus as well. So. Comment section. You let us know down below what you think of Misfits number nine. There's only one more card now that we all care about. That's the prime card, October 14th. 24 hour live stream on this one. We might we might have to bring Sensei to the West Coast. I don't know. We we figuring this out. But we don't have those answers for what happens coming for all these fighters next or on the prime card. We're gonna get into it as we get closer. So I guess we'll find out. I can't take no loss. Huh? I don't even know what it costs. Huh? I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Take no loss, yeah. I don't even know what it costs.